my name is Helen and today I'm going to be presenting to you an unboxing of the Anko Quick Chopper. I've heard so much about this product. Um, a lot of my friends have said to me, you've got to get this chopper. It is the easiest thing to use. Um, so I thought what better way than to kill two birds with one stone, make a salad. So today I'm going to make tavoli Lebanese style um, and unbox this chopper so you guys can see for yourself it's a fail or not. So let's get started. quick chopper I think there's a couple of varieties I've got the large one they also have another one which is a smaller pool style so if you like that but I thought I might as well get the big one and go from there so I'll just get started so in the chopper you get a blender so a blender type blade the lid so these obviously go together so let's do that the chopper blade, um, so mine was, came out of that, you saw that, I wasn't already in there and it was sealed, so that's a bit of a worry, um, but yeah, the chopper blade, and then, okay, so then we have the bowl that we've got here, and then a set of instruction booklet. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is just wash everything in soapy water. Okay, so now I've, I've washed the container, so hot soapy water. Um, and now to make the tabbouleh, so you just need two bunches of flat parsley. That, and I've got three tomatoes, but I think today we will probably end up, depending on the... These are pretty ripe, so sometimes that's why I like hand cutting tomatoes, because in my previous experience, tomatoes in a chopper usually turn out like mush and a lot of water. Um, and that's not really good for um, tabbouleh. You want your tabbouleh to stay nice and dry um, while you're chopping it in the bowl so it doesn't go too soggy. Uh, so there's that. And I've got two onions and one of them I'll use, probably half. We'll see how much this makes. Um, and the other one I'll just chop up and leave. I love having a bit of spare onion around in the freezer really quickly without having to chop another onion. So that's a good tip. So. Yeah, chop extra onion. I've got two tablespoons of the cracked wheat, uh, which is burgal in Arabic. And you can buy that from any sort of supermarket, deli, they sell it there. So you get the fine cracked wheat. There's two styles. There's the coarse and the fine, and the fine one is what you need. Um, you put in a teaspoon of sumac, um, or sumac, which is what we call it. It's just a Middle Eastern type spice. It just livens up the tabbouleh some olive oil and some pink Himalayan salt. Um, so let's get started. Really keen to see how this chops. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is assemble it all. Um, so you've got this lever here that's off and on. So then we're gonna just put that in. Oops, okay. That unpops that, <laughs> just lock it in. So when you, it just sits like that. It doesn't actually lock anything, it just locks the lid. And then you put the blade in and then that's it. So it's pretty simple from there. Uh, judging by it, I'm thinking, should I put in a whole onion? Will that work? Let's give it a go. I doubt it. I have a feeling I'm going to need to chop it up. So you lock the mechanism in, make sure it's on the lock mode in here. Elbow grease in there. Let's give it a chop. We've got, we've got our onions in there. Okay, so next up I'm going to chop, I'm going to leave the tomatoes to last, only because I suspect um, the tomatoes might be a little bit troublesome. So I might just put in next the flat parsley. So where's the scoop? So we'll just put the flat parsley, I'm just going to put a bit this way, make sure that's aligned. So I just found that, you know, doing the onion, um, probably best if you actually chop the onion into quarters and that way you get a more consistent chop. Not 
too bad. It's actually much finer than I would expect for tabbouleh. You want it a little bit probably coarse, but that's it there. Now, so this is what it looks like. So it's nice and fine. Okay, so now, finally, we're gonna try the tomato. So I think what I'm gonna do with the tomato is I'm gonna cut up two, just do them in quarters. Um, okay, chuck them in. Chuck him in all of them. the cracked wheat so what I've done is I've just put in two tablespoons of the cracked wheat the bottle of in some hot water that I've boiled up just drain it leave it in for about half an hour so now we just need to drain it and then you can just put it to top so um, I've mixed up the tabbouleh it's a bit more wetter than I expected um, again because of the tomato juice it's way too much so I what I would suggest is probably get a sieve and drain out the excess moisture and just put the tomatoes in. So you've got more tomato, um, less juice inside your tabbouleh because it's a bit mushy. Um, overall, really impressed with the Yanko Chopper. I would highly recommend this for 12 bucks. Use it. I mean, it's a little bit clumsy, but you pay $12. It's cheaper than your sandwich cheaper than lunch in fact you made lunch go figure okay guys i really hope you enjoyed today's segment on unboxing the quick chopper from anko at kmart i'll leave the link down below and also you will find the information on my website hellohelen.co if you did enjoy today's segment please subscribe and leave me a like it's going to help out my channel a lot um, and don't forget to tap that bell down below because it's going to help you uh, stay in the loop of when I update other new things. So if there's anything else you'd like to see, please leave a comment. I will also add things to my website. Don't forget hellohelen.co.au. Did I say that? I can't remember. I went into a trance just then as I was talking. Uh, but until next time, thanks so much for watching. See you then. Bye. Thank you.